You cannot make this shit up. This woman is going viral for sharing her dating history in a TikTok video. Now, mind you, that was only a portion of the video. In the full video, she showed 13 different men. And obviously, this went viral because usually people do not showcase something like that. She has since came out and stated that she did not date them all at the same time. And she has also stated that she didn't sleep with many of those men. Cap. Which is cool if you don't really care about your reputation. But this video is just a bad look. Like, it doesn't look good in anyone's eyes. And there was people in the comments hyping her up saying, date them all, sis, date them all. And I find that to be not only horrible advice, but just a dumb thing to applaud. Like, why are you supporting her posting this, ruining her reputation on the internet? Like, she's going viral for her history with different men. Just think about that. I'm not going to judge her. People do whatever they do within their lives. But I do think that posting this online was a bad decision. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this, though. My name is Kiki, and I went viral on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and Facebook for being a hoe. Let's talk about it. <laughs> it's all over every single social media platform. I kid you not. Um, it's on TikTok, obviously, that's where I posted it. It's on Facebook, it's on Twitter, it's on Instagram. And I'm not just talking about like a couple thousand views. We're talking millions of views, millions and millions. It's probably to the hundred millions now. No, it's not. Stop the cap. Based off, like if you combine all the videos together, for sure. Millions and millions and millions of people have seen this video of me. <laughs> She's so proud and of this. let's talk about it. <laughs> I feel like the opinions are very divided right now. It's either this dank ass, nasty hoe, STD, burning ass bitch. Nobody wants to. Nobody wants to listen to what you have to say. Or it's either ooh, Kiki's fun. She's lit. She looks like a good time. What's to Kiki? What? Let's talk about Kiki. What's Kiki doing? I'm gonna tune in. Okay. I knew what I was doing with all this, all right? Because I'm a genius. <laughs> Not really. I'm just an educated woman. I have a degree in sociology. If Little you know what body care, is, Look it up real quick. <laughs> but I degree. feel like that would probably, you know, I should have led with that, um, that I have a degree in literally the study of human behavior and human interaction. When you're Don't a content matter. creator, you have to think of things from a different lens than just a consumer on social media all right most people are scrolling on social media to be entertained you know to you get on social media outside of usually facebook you get on most of these social media platforms is because you want to be entertained or you want to see people that you like or but that's the main point of social media is to be entertained i know the psychology behind social media and why people are consuming social media why people want to follow certain people okay i don't think that there's anything more entertaining than scandal and sex and stuff like that so i knew that a video like this would go viral i knew it would i'm gonna do a podcast where i'm talking about what Did goes you? into content creation and what it takes to be a content creator and things that you need to do and you know, what areas you need to focus on, the mindset that you have to have. I'm going to do a video on all that because it goes deep. All right. But to sum up the why behind why I did this video is because I'm a content creator. Look, I think what she's doing is trying to paint this picture as if she did this video knowing that it would go viral. And I don't believe that's the truth. I believe she did the video, it went viral, and now she's trying to backtrack and make herself not look like 304. She made herself look like in the video. And now she's saying, I knew what I was doing. I did this all in an attempt to go viral. I think she's trying to do a little bit of cleanup while also loving this attention. Look at her face. She loves every second of it. And I know my job as a content creator is to entertain. And that's what I did. <laughs> I 
entertain y'all, all right? It's for entertainment purposes. And I knew that there was going to be a lot of backlash behind it. And I knew that it was going to go 50-50. It really is 50-50. I knew that the men were going to hate me. And they were going to be mad by this. I knew it was going to be a trigger for them. And I knew most women are going to support me because it's like girl power. It's like, yeah, do your thing. Like That's sisterhood. I knew I'd get some backlash from someone. But I knew for the most part that women were going to be the supporters and men were going to be haters. Creating content like that is key, though, because it's a very split controversial subject all right people have very strong opinions on women's bodies and how women are supposed to carry themselves and our whole identity um people are so opinionated when it comes to women all right but let's talk about like the deep rooted misogynistic <laughs> viewpoint of women she went out and made a video of herself being the 304. She got 304 reactions and results because of that. And now it's going to be misogyny, men ain't ish, even though she herself put the video out there of herself. To put in perspective how fragile this system, this way of thinking is, all right, I uploaded a video of me that was spaced out years. These videos were years and months apart. Stop All the cap. I was doing in these videos was getting kissed yeah. on the cheek by men or i kissed two men on the lips okay because of that i am now a whore i'm an std bucket i have a loose vagina i will never find a husband i'm this i am all of that i am not deemed i am not deemed worthy of shit by a lot of men and some women <laughs> just like that nobody asks questions Nobody, they just jumped to, oh, you're, you're a whore. Pardon me. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, then. Okay. See, this is why I think she's full of shit. She's also the same one a few minutes ago saying that she knew that this would go viral. If you knew your actions in that video would go viral, why are you complaining about it afterwards? You knew what would come with it, Miss Content Creator. And then the other thing I would like to say is this, and this I call cap on this as well. If you go to this woman's page, she's obviously a good looking woman, but she's lost like a hundred pounds. And we've talked about that before. Sometimes women, if they've been larger women, especially if they've been larger women the majority of their life, is that once they lose all that weight, they get a certain type of attention that they've never gotten before. And some women just lose their mind because of it and go out here and hit these streets that's why i did my story time not to explain myself but just be like well you're loud and wrong i didn't sleep with all these men but if you think i'm a whore because i kissed a few guys i guess i'll be that whore because i sure the fuck i love me some kisses okay <laughs> some eggplant <laughs> no sure the fuck did all right but look how fragile that is i could upload one video and now i'm no longer deemed a quality woman no. <laughs> Let's not talk about the fact that I have college degrees. Don't nobody care, children. man. I have no children. Okay. Good for I you. I make good money. All right. They all claim it. I'm funny. Okay. I'm probably not I'm intellectual. Funny. Not all intellectual. Right. I have good taste in music. Per. <laughs> I'm a high quality woman. I am. And I don't care what anybody thinks. I Are you? On that. I know I'm a high quality woman. That's why I was comfortable enough to release the video I released. But I'm a high quality woman. And now men have deemed me trash, just worth nothing. I wouldn't say all that. Based off of past relationships I had. Based off of who I've had sex with. Okay. And the amount of men I've had sex with. That I, I didn't even have sex with these men. Okay. And now I'm deemed. Stop the cap. Low quality. Like I am just. <sighs> over nothing i didn't have sex with these men but i'm perceived to have sex with these men so stop now, the cap not worth shit we're not gonna wife you you dirty whore if this is a system that women want to participate in you want to be a part of that system where your daughter oh god this very well could be your daughter in this situation dating trying to find the right fit for her she's doing a whole lot of host playing or just enjoying being single, not even worried about being picked by a man. Like just let me go out and have fun. Let me just live my life. Why do I have to worry about being picked by a man? And now your daughter is a whore. She's a slut. She has SD. This is a system that we women want to continue to participate in. Oh God. Why? How does that serve us? 
It's a fragile, fragile system. You could be a virgin. I could be a virgin for all these people know. <laughs> I could be a virgin. virgin. And I could have posted this video and now I'm deemed unwifeable. I'm a whore. I'm a slut. I have STDs. I'm this. I'm that. Same woman who claims when she put this out, she knew she was going to go viral. That's a very, very fragile system. Is that fair to us? Do y'all really want to participate in that system? Or do you want to say, f you and f what you think? My vagina does not dictate my value. That's what's wrong with you men. That's why you end up unhappy because you base a woman's value off of her body and her private parts. You make the That's video. That's why nobody's, instead of actually getting to know women, all right, I'm the, still the same person, same personality, same mindset. All right, I was before I posted this video, but some men would meet me tomorrow and be like, oh my God, you're that girl Kiki from that video. No, get away from me. I could have been the perfect match for you. And because of that, now you don't want anything. Yes. You could have been your perfect match and a perception of who I've had sex with, my past relationship. You're gonna, you deem me unworthy now. Women. You really want to be a part of that? Or do you want to say, f you? She's doing a whole lot of whole explaining and a whole lot of 3 -oh math going on. It's just not adding up. As she originally stated, she claims to made that video knowing that it was going to go viral. Now that she went viral and she got backlash, now it's, oh, y'all men ain't ish. Y'all sexualized everything. You don't know me, my relationship past. Those relationships were over years. And all I did was kiss me, yada, yada, yada. And I just checked this woman's TikTok. I could be wrong. I haven't done a deep down thorough investigation. But if you look at her page, a part of her page was that she's lost weight. And she obviously transformed from, from she was before to a good looking woman obviously and i don't know the timeline in full but it doesn't seem like that was that long ago that's why i believe that now all those interactions with men were, were more recent than not but okay we'll give it that at the end of the day if you're a content creator like you say you are you know the consequences of your actions if a clip goes viral whether good or bad people are going to talk about it this is just her attempt to go explain and try to clean up whatever virtue that she thinks she's preserving by putting out their response and again you can see the smile and look on her face that she was loving the attention she kept mentioning how I went viral on all these different social platforms. She's loving the attention, but hating the backlash. You can't have it both ways, lady. You guys let me know in the comments. What do you guys think? Am I wrong? Or is the patriarchal system keeping this woman a slave while she makes TikToks all day? You guys let me know. Do better squad. Ball out.